Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Thank you to everyone who joined in. I haven't done a live in a long, long time, so let me see if I can remember how to do this. Let's hope we get all the messages now. Okay, so today I am gonna unbox this Kalaloo box, Christmas box. So you all know that I've been supporting Kalaloo box for a long time now. They sent me this gift for Christmas and I'm so excited to open it. So I decided to open it live on camera today. I haven't done a live in a long time. I know I look like a hot mess right now, my hair all over the place. It was a last minute decision. Hi, uh, hi Nance, Brandon, and Tiffany, Savita, Khalil. So I hope you're all doing well. Mr. Riyad Hussein. Thanks so much for joining in everyone. So just a little bit about Kalu Box. It's a subscription box service as well as an online grocery. So for those of you all who live outside of Trinidad and Tobago, they offer different ingredients, snacks, drinks, all kind of different things from the islands. So if you're homesick, it's definitely a website to visit. Um, Astral Princess, Sunita, Ariana. Good night, everyone. Thanks, Nance. Suli, Savita. Uh, hi, Melissa. Heidi. Thanks, Astral. Thanks so much for supporting. I know I haven't been on here in such a long time. And I think the last time I was live was probably February or March. I don't remember. It was a long, long time. But it's nice to be back. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Trini Bella. Chris Cross. Sadia. Sunita. So, like I was saying about Kalaloo Box, uh, especially during COVID now, it's really a convenient service because I didn't go back home this year so I couldn't get to bring all my curry and spices and everything else that I usually pick up when I go back home and I bring it back with me. So I definitely came in handy this year for Diwali, for Easter, um, all the amazing boxes with all the different ingredients and snacks, definitely the snacks. But I'm excited to open this up and show you what we got this month. Um, hi, Keisha. Hi, Raj. Lisa. Lisa said she didn't know if she spelled my name correct. I'll have to go back and check. Um, do you need to apply for a subscription? Yes, you do. But you don't have to. They have an online grocery, so you can choose like individual items. So let's say you don't want what's... Um, you don't want what's on the subscription that month. You can just choose items you want. So you could choose like snacks, choose drinks, choose like single items. It doesn't have to be everything that comes in the box. Hi, Taste of South. So uh, we could chat a little bit, but first things first, I'm going to open up the box. And so I got this big box actually. And I see a little area here that usually doesn't come in the subscription boxes. So I guess this is a little Christmas surprise. So we'll open that after. So let me just set up the camera here so you could see as I open the box. So let me set you up. It's just gonna get cut off a little bit, but it'll go anywhere. So let us see. I'm sorry about that. Okay. It's hard when you're live and you have to switch, um, switch the setup on the camera. So they always have amazing packaging.
Mm. So the first thing is the Charles Roman Raisin. Okay, so when you open your Kalu box, you usually get a few cards. Uh, this one says, warmest thoughts and best wishes for Merry Christmas and a very happy new year. And then they tell you a little bit about the Kalu box. Um, the, the little background on it. It says, we're two sisters who grew up in Trinidad and lived in New York City for many years before moving to South Florida. We started Kalu Box to spread our love for Trinidad and Tobago and Caribbean food. We hope you enjoy what's inside as much as we enjoyed putting it together for you. And hope that it transports you to the shores of our beautiful islands of Trinidad and Tobago. Malika and Jamila. Thank you, Reshmi. So here's another cool thing with Kalaloo Box. Um, you can earn Kalaloo Box. So if you sign up for Kalaloo Box, or even if you share a post online, if you follow them on Instagram, you can earn Kalaloo Box. So when you earn 200 Kalaloo Box, you get $5 cash. You spend a dollar and you earn two bucks. So this is cool and it tells you how to, how to do it. You have to log in or create a Kalu box account, you know, everything's here. And then you can follow them on Twitter and Instagram. They're on social media. And then you can scan here to shop their Caribbean grocery. It's a great gift to give one of your friends. If they miss home and they can't get any ingredients where they live, this is a good gift to give them. Here we have a recipe for baked pastel pie. So you can screenshot this if you want this recipe. It's definitely easier than making pastels. <laughs> you could just make one big pie. If you all want a recipe for pastel pie, let me know in the comments. So here's all the ingredients and this is by Homemade Zagat. So big up to Homemade Zagat for this recipe really easy and it's only 75 minutes this one is pumpkin poncha creme nice this is also by homemade zagat this is hot and juicy plums on instagram so this is what's in the caribbean christmas box so there's black cake, cornmeal, chow chow, mixed essence, dried sorrel, pepper sauce, and spices. So under each item, they give you just a little description. They give you a description on what the product is. And they also tell you, well, not in this month's box, but they also give you suggestions on how to use it. So just for instance, I'll tell you the chow chow. It's a spicy mustard based pickle relish containing small chunks of vegetables and tropical fruits, most commonly eaten with pastels and baked ham at Christmas time. But you can be creative and try it with anything. It's slightly spicy, but if you would like to up the spice level, mix it with some pepper sauce. So these are definitely must haves for the holiday season and for a good Trini Christmas. So it says Christmas in the Caribbean is one of the most festive times of the year with food at the center of the festivities. From the traditional black cake to sorrel to pastels, this box will give you a taste of a true Caribbean Christmas. So now is the fun part. Let me start opening the box. So the first thing here we got a, a little snack which is Charles Rum and Raisin chocolate. This used to be one of my favorites when I was home. So I definitely digging into this one tonight. And here we have some cornmeal. So remember I told y'all I'm making pastel pie for Christmas. So I'll definitely use this cornmeal. I have never tried this brand before. So it'll be a first. And I guess y'all will see how it turns out. Because I will film the video for y'all. And this is... Okay, so it's packed in the USA. Oh, okay, so it's a fine cornmeal. And you all know that for pastels, we usually use the corn flour, the Promasa corn flour. And it's hard to find that here. So this should be a good substitute. 
And every year I always look forward to this uh, this black cake or fruit cake. If you don't know what black cake or fruit cake is, it's basically a, a pudding like cake that's soaked in alcohol, soaked with alcohol. So this should be nice. I always look forward to it. So see, they give you a little sample. Um, okay. See how this stuff is always well packaged? Let's see what this one is. Feels heavy. This might be Chow Chow. Yeah, it is Chow Chow. So this is Matuk's Chow Chow and we usually eat this with ham or pastels. So growing up, I never liked chow chow. It's only recently I think I got a love for it. So, um, so it, on the package it tells you what it is and all the ingredients here. It has purple, vinegar, mustard, carrots, onion, and they also put um, ca uh, cauliflower in this to make it too. It's like a relish, a spicy, mustardish, mustardy relish. So this is good with pastels and with baked ham. Let's see what we have here. Hi, Ria. Thanks for joining in. Thanks everyone for joining. Here we have the Matuk's Calypso sauce. This is definitely a must have. Pepper sauce. Pepper sauce goes great with everything. With baked chicken, pastels, ham, anything. You do entire Christmas menu, the holiday menu. Um, pepper sauce always goes great with it. This one feels like spices. Nice. So all the spices for bacon and for all the drinks. So the sorrel and the uh, punja creme. Some nice nutmeg. I love nutmeg in my punja creme and in my sponge cake. I also put it in my fruit cake. So this will definitely be useful this Christmas. Um, then some clove. I love putting clove in my sorrel and on the ham. Must have clove for the ham. And then some cinnamon. I also boil the cinnamon in the um, panjakaram and the sorrel. So good stuff. Lastly, let's see what we have here. Hey Kimberly. Hi Emerson. Thanks Ria. It's nice to be back. Hi Shinaz. And then we have the mixed essence. So mixed essence, it is not like extract. It's a more diluted version of extract. So if you use an extract, you would use less. Whereas if you use mixed essence, you could use a little more. So let's see. So this is good for like ice cream, cakes, pastries, um, custard, juices, beverages. So you can add this to your sorrel mixture. You can add it to your cakes, like your sponge cake and your black cake. It's a great addition. I just love the flavor of this. It's, it tastes like home. When I taste this, it's a taste of home. So let me just get this a little bit cleaned up here. And let me put everything together and show you what we got. So we got the black cake. Okay, maybe I should just do it on the table. <laughs> just 
just bear with me. <laughs> we have the cornmeal for pastels and for penny. Cinnamon, clove, nutmeg. Oh wait, I forgot we had something else to open in the box. This color box. Okay, so the next thing we have is this little surprise package. So let me open this and see what we get. Feeling bad to bust open through the nice packaging. <laughs> they always package so nice. Look at this cute little stuff. Oh, we got sorrel. Nice. So this is dry and it's also called hibiscus in Jamaica. It's also called hibiscus. Um, so we can actually find this here in Texas. I was so happy when I saw it. Um, and I, I prefer the dry one actually. So it's, I think it's more potent the dry one. And it's so easy to make. You don't have to do all the cleaning, you know, long time. I mean, it's fun to clean, but sometimes it gets a bit hectic when you have to clean. And then um, the sorrel has like this, these little pick on it, on the seed. So this actually is convenient. Um, so it just says product of Mexico, Egypt and Nigeria. And it's just so this is so easy you just put it up in a pot you put all your spices you put your water and you let it steep i usually let it steep overnight so i put it up to boil and then cover it and leave it overnight and then it gets so strong and nice and you can actually boil it twice too just to get everything out of it and then i use the um the actual sorrel leaves or the fruit itself the sepals, I actually use that in my cakes. So you can just add it to your fruit base when you're making your fruit cakes. So that's cool. So this is what we got. <laughs> that's funny. All we need is for Kalu Box to start selling pimento and we good to go. Pimento is definitely scarce these days. Somebody in New York told me that it was hard to find pimento on Baji. So do you all have that issue where, where you are? Pimento and dashing bush. It's hard to find. So yeah, let me just run through what we got. So we got the sorrel to make our sorrel drink for Christmas. Um, we have the cornmeal to make peony and pastels. Even pastel pies. Um, black cake. Because true, a true trendy Christmas is not the same without black cake or fruit cake. We have the spices to make our cakes and to make our drinks. So we have nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon to make our puncha creme, sponge cake, black cake, and everything else, all the desserts. We have the chow chow or the hot chow for pastels and ham or anything else you want to eat it with. We have the pepper sauce because pepper sauce goes great with everything and some mixed essence to put in the cakes and the drinks. And of course, a little snack, which is the child's rum and raisin chocolate. So yeah, that was our little um, haul from Callaloo Box. And of course, we got the recipes. So the stuff in the box can be used to make the recipe. 
So, for pumpkin poncha cream, calls for three quarter pounds of pumpkin, two tins of condensed milk, four tins of evaporated milk, one tablespoon of mixed essence. Do you all know, in, um, do you all remember a long time, or still now, my mom still says it, instead of evaporated milk, she says carnation milk. <laughs> carnation is actually the brand, and, um, but we all know evaporated milk as carnation milk. And then bitters, of course, um, some rum, then some ground nutmeg. So we got the ground nutmeg, we got the cinnamon, so we're good to go. And then, of course, with the pastel pie, too. So we got the, um, we got the cornmeal to make the pastel pie. So yeah, we in order now for Christmas. <laughs> So this is our little Callaloo box haul. So let me turn the camera back and we'll chat for a little bit and then I'll wish you all good night. Okay, so you should be seeing me now. Okay, so thank you so much for um, joining in to the video. Sorry, I missed all the comments while I was talking. I was trying not to read too much while I was talking because it throws me off, especially if someone asks a question. Hi, Ian San. Thanks for joining. So, what are your must haves for Christmas? Like, what's the must have dish for Christmas or dessert? For me, it's always sorrel. I could do it out of the pasta. Pasta is not my favorite, I have to admit. For me, it's the sorrel, the pancha cream, and these years I've been making coconut pancha cream actually, and um, coconut pancha cream, and what else? What's my favorite again? The black cake, right? I must have a black cake, and I must have a ham. Yeah. Pastel. Pa no, I don't really like pastel that much. If I if I do pastel, it's a shrimp pastel, and I prefer to make it in a pie, so like a shrimp pastel pie. So if you want that recipe, let me know. Ham and pastel. Um, Alicia says you look great. Thank you so much, Alicia. Hi, Felicia. Hope all is well with you. It's nice to see you on live. I hope that your grandmother is doing well. Blessings to see you on her. Hope her recovery is going good. Love to you on her. Thank you so much, Felicia. She's doing well. She's staying optimistic and she's doing her treatment. So she's doing chemotherapy right now and um, yeah, she's just staying optimistic and we're just hoping for the best. Thank you so much for thinking of us. Turkey. Alicia says turkey. Amazon says ham, blackie, punchagram. Hi, Ria. Fruitcake is a must have, of course. I will do that. Hi, John King. They just closed it earlier this year. Uh, hi, Nikisha. All is well. Thanks. Thanks, Diego. I'm from London. I Right now, I'm in Houston. So, um, yeah, so I hope all is well with you all. I haven't checked in in a long time. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry, but I did have valid reasons for not being on. I was just uh, focused on my family and focused on Ma and her healing. And uh, I was just, you know, trying to be mindful and live in the moment. And I put um, YouTube on a back burner because YouTube is definitely a hobby for me. So I will do it in the time that I have free and I, I'm actually finishing up my degree right now so I've been focused on that and just staying sane during COVID. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well during this pandemic. The must-haves at my house isn't even things. It's ginger beer for my father, ham for the husband and oldest son, lots of snacks for the youngers. Good night uh, to Jennifer. Hi, 27. How are you? You reach late. You reach late. I just unboxed uh, the Kalu box.
So I'm sure you'll see it on my Instagram because I will post a little bit about what was in the box. So I hope you're doing well, 27th. Um, I'm doing well, Chandra. Thanks for asking. So, hmm. Hope I didn't miss any comments. Ginger Bay, when I lived at home with my parents, Ginger Bay was a must have because my dad, he loves Ginger Bay. He loves. Um, he loves pastels, so I always made that for him. What can you use in place of mixed fruit peels and black cake? You don't have to add it, honestly, it's optional. But if you want that taste, if you want that citrusy taste, then you could just grate some orange zest or some lemon zest so you won't get that very pronounced taste when you bite into it. A lot of people do like the fruit peels. Um, you could just use the mixed fruit instead. Hi, Samantha and Ronaldo. Hi. Hi, Tobisha. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you like the sorrel cake. So after I did that sorrel cake, I realized that it's popular in Jamaica. I had no idea that sorrel cake was a thing. Well, sorrel fruit cake, that is. I had no idea that sorrel fruit cake was a thing in Jamaica. And uh, so I think I saw a video with someone making sorrel fruit cake and I was like, wow, that's so cool that it's popular in Jamaica. And it's also a great way to use up the sorrel um, when, when you're making your sorrel drink and you boil the, the sorrel itself, you just strain it and you use the actual fruit in your fruit cake base. So in the fruit mixture, you can soak that with rum and you'll really love it. I do it every single year and it's so good. It adds a it adds a little bit of tartness, so you can actually use that in place of the mixed peels for the taste, not for the texture, but for the taste. We um we can use that as a like the tart aspect in the cake. Cuz it does have like a nice little tartness to it. John says good night everyone. Be good to yourselves. Thanks John. Good night. Um, I honestly like fruitcake because of the pudding-like texture. I love that texture in fruitcake. If you give me fruitcake and it tastes like sponge cake or it's like falling apart and dry like sponge cake, that is not my kind of fruitcake. I like it very moist, dense, rich. Full of fruits. Yeah, full of fruits. And I actually do like when the fruits are... Um, macerated too much I like when it's chunky so you just pulse it a few times in the fruit processor and that's good enough for me so what you can do is you can macerate some really smooth and then um, just make a second back chunky and then mix the two you will have to snatch my Caribbean card for me because I don't like fruitcake. Oh, shucks. But I'm sure you like other things, 27. I didn't like fruitcake when I was growing up. Most things I started to like as I got older. Like chow chow and all those things. Pastels, I never liked those things when I was younger. Soak it in cherry brandy. So, cherry brandy is hard to find over here. So, we've been using this. How do you pronounce it? Manisha, it's Manisha. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we use that, the grape, the grape one or the cherry one. Can you show alcohol? Yeah, why not? Tell them, see if you can't find cherry brandy to use this. Oh, okay. So Kevin says, if you can't find cherry brandy, use this. We found it at our local um, liquor store. Total wine. Total wine. But you can do a quick Google search and you'll be able to find where it's this has look uh, where it is it. next to you. Can you see this or is it back to front? No, I see it perfectly fine. Oh, okay. It's not flipped, right? No, but okay. you can tell them. Say it says it in big words, cherry. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just go in your brandy section in your liquor store, and you'll be able to find this. Oh, bring the manager. Let me show them. 
You can also use this one. If you want me to do a, a fruitcake video, I can do that because I don't think I have a normal fruitcake video. I have the eggless and I have the sorrel. Yeah, maybe I should work on a normal one. So this is the one we use also. If you, yeah, if you can, if you can't find this one, you can use, they usually have a cherry one, but it's sold out all the time. So this one will work. So I hope you all find those. You should be able to. Hi. Hi, Faid in the Palan area. I hope you're enjoying the cool weather we have had for the past week. Thanks. I'm enjoying the weather. Feeling very cold, shockingly. Um, hello from the Palan area. Terrence. I have to try a sour cake, so good in cherry brandy. Um, please do a fruitcake video. I will, I will do it then. Yes, I did that video a long time, right? 27th. Hi, Abraham in Florida. Hi, Terrence. Pamela, nice seeing you, Rishmi. You look great, positive energy to your grandmother. And I can see by his comments that your husband is well. Have a good night. Yes, he's doing well. Uh, he's back with his hot mouth, as always. Um, hi, Ravi. I'm doing well. So, yeah, so we've been on, I've been on here for 30 minutes now. So I'll tell you all good night. And I know if you're back on the islands, it is probably 9.30 right now. Seven. Yeah, it's two hours ahead of us. Right now it's 7.21 by us. So, thanks so much. Please do my wedding cake video. What's my wedding cake video? Hi, Antoinette in Boston. I hope you're staying warm. I know it's probably cold there. Eh? Yes, he does, Nance. He has a really hot mouth. <laughs> Um, so thanks so much for joining in and thanks so much to the ladies at Callaloo Box for this amazing box and for all the goodies, all the ingredients we got to make all the pastels and the sorrel. Thanks so much. 27 says it's 50 degrees here in Miami and people are walking around like they have carpets wrapped around them. Sean says, love your channel. Thanks for bringing TNT cuisine to the world. I have not been home in TNT 29 years. Feel like Kevin, a foreigner. <laughs> um, 32 degrees, wow. Any good doubles in Texas? Um, yeah, we do have a few. We have a few. Um, Vidya, hi. Vidya in Canada. I'm a baker myself and I do a lot of different types of cakes. Nice. Well, happy baking for the holiday season. Thanks, Nance. Hi, Shalini in Baltimore. Hi, Uncle Gary. So I'm heading out now. Sorry to all the people who just joined in. I hope you all will rewatch it. I tried not to do it too, too long to get you all too bored. But thanks for joining and I hope to do more of these lives. It's nice to be back on after so long. I know this was impromptu. I wish I had planned it so I could tell you all from earlier to join in. So more people would have um, you know, gotten the notification. But thank you so much for joining. And thanks for always supporting, even though I haven't really been active recently. But follow me on my Instagram page, on my Facebook. I'm usually more active there, so you'll see all my little short cooking videos at home i share it on instagram so thanks again and i will see you all in the next video i have a few videos that i um filmed that i will upload before christmas and i'll definitely do the pastel for nance and the fruitcake Crisscross, I'm from TG, and our Christmases are similar to yours. Lots of cakes, roast meats, and assorted curries. Take care, Rishmi. Good vibes to you and your fam. Thank you so much, Chris. 
sounds like the Fiji culture and the West Indian culture are similar. So I definitely have to visit. Hi, Carol. All is well. Thanks for asking. I hope you're doing well in Trinidad. Hi, Terry, Mary, Terry, Mary, George, Lenora. Thanks so much for joining. I'm heading out now. I will see you all in another video. Bye. Have a lovely night and I hope you all have a great holiday season if I don't see you all um, before. Bye.